there clapping. I think she's Julian's cousin. She's talking to Titus. Well, one thing I can say about Mr. Julian Young is he backs up whatever he says. I will give him that. Like him or hate him. He's a man of his word. Who is? Julian Young. I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. It's quite all right. You don't have to. I'll repay the favor. See, like, this is just wrong. Julian is the number one wrestler in maritime wrestling. Number one, Chano. Number one. Number one. None of these people know what they're talking about, except for the people that know he's number one. These two guys lock up in the middle of the ring. Oh. Julian immediately with an arm lock. That's the other thing. Every time Julian Young is in the ring, you're going to see one technical match. Titus with a reversal into his own arm lock. Those are some wicked arm ringers, Shano. Look at this. Nice reversal from Julian Young. <laughs> Julian is showing up. Titus is speed and wrestling ability. That's nine years of Greg Roman and amateur right. wrestling Damn, right there. Directly into the wrist lock as well. Ah. Titus with a reversal of his own into a hammer lock. Something Julian and I have a lot in common is we both have experience at something we do great. Julian with nine years of amateur and Greco Roman wrestling, me, 32 years of awesomeness. 32 years of awesomeness. Yeah, you just agree with that. That's all you're allowed to do. All right, all right, well. That's right. I'll tell you that. I can say a lot of things. Very nice from, ah, from Titus. I think, I think Titus has a fistful of hair. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's not funny to cheat. I'll tell you, these two have been in the ring so much that it's like they know what each other are going to do before they even do it. Very, very long history between these two. I've seen these two on every side of the spectrum. I can't disagree with you there. Well, I could, but... Appreciate it, for once. I'm just a good guy that way. Daddy-o. Yeah, Julian with you. Look at that. Waist you got, you got the O part Another right. one, another waist lock takedown by Julian. Look Showing at Julian, his wrestling man. ability. Oh, no, interrupted. Interrupted by Titus. Right, look at this. Look at this. This is unbelievable. This is Julian doing what he does best. This is textbook is wrestling. Titus to school. I still have yet to see that wrestling textbook. Oh, it's right here. That was yes, I know, I know. I have nothing. Shut up. We're not on camera, so mm. it's not as funny. Or it could be. I could have just went with it. But you didn't. Yeah. Nice shots to the, to the midsection. Oh, and okay. a nice northern north north suplex. Again, that was close. That was two. That was two. That was a very close. Oh, hammers the back. Yeah, very nice. Julian Young. The ref is doing nothing about this. He needs. I, I, I want to say that they were forearm shot, shots, Rockstar. I'm out. You know what, you're the professional, though, so I'm not going to argue with that. Very true. I can't, I can't say too much. The ref should be giving Julian a timeout right now. And He's just warming up. Julian Young's just warming up. Circling the ring. Julian right for the big legs of Titus. Oh, another hammer to the back from Titus. Into a headlock. And he, and he, took, him, he took him by the hair again. Did you see that? I, I did not see. For one, Julian and I have a lot in common as well. We both lack hair. Julian has hair on his face, and that counts. Shoulder block from Titus. Oh, and a big clothesline reversal. Your face. I'll tell you that much right now, daddy -o. Get up, punk. This is just my five o'clock shadow. Oh, another big clothesline from Titus. Oh, that hurt me. That even hurt me. I've been on the receiving end of a few of those chops, and they do not feel good. I do not envy you. Not just because of the chops, but that's what I'm talking about this time. Big surprise. 
Alex Collins, I'm gonna pump. There are times when you can actually hear the crowd chanting along with how many punks that Mr. Titus says. Chops of his very own from Julian Young. You can see it in his face when Julian Young gets in charge. Even the ham and eggers in this audience right now know that Julian has him right where he wants. Nice reversal, Julian. Oh, Titus. Titus was ready for that one. I thought Julian had the upper hand, but he just ate another chop to the chest. Look at the red and the swelling. Like Titus having a little bit of trouble. Sometimes those ropes can be too they much. Can be and Julian's been socking him right in the noggin. That makes life a little bit difficult. Oh, there we go. That one's on the money. Taking him side to side. And he's pandering to this crowd. Oh. Titus is downfall. He panders to the crowd. He tries to get them to cheer him instead of just going on the attack. That's his problem. I guess so, but he's got the track record and to back it up. His track record is losing oh. the title on multiple occasions. Titus, I don't know if you saw that, just and ate the ring Julian post. time to recuperate while he's pandered to the crowd. I do agree with you there. You can't give Julian Young any time whatsoever. No, He'll be right on that. Julian Young is in top form. He is in top form. And right now there's... That's Julian a lot more Young. Than I can say about Titus. Julian Young telling the crowd exactly what he thinks of him as well. Mocking, mocking Titus's injured arm. As well he should. He should be mocking all those people in that front row too. Morons. Oh, now he's working that arm. Very, very smart from Julian Young. This could actually make the difference in who comes out the victor in this in this match. There, there was no difference for me. Julian's going to win either way. By what if by Cook, Julian will beat Titus again? And oh, and into another ring post with that shoulder. The injured arm is just in injury to insult right there. It's injury to insult, Shano. I like the way you Much put like that. Much like working with you. <laughs> that was just mean, Mr. Yeah, Cole. Well, you deserve it. I might look tough, but I got a whole lot of feelings. Oh, Julian just not even easing up for a second on that arm. I, Julian is impressing me right now. He is showing. Oh. oh. He is showing tenacity. He is showing the aggression that he has not shown in a long time. Simply trying, like. And an elbow drop, my goodness. I don't know. Titus. I think this could be the end of Titus in this match. Only a one count. Very impressive. I was expecting at least two and a half. Pinning Titus it can be a harsh mistress sometimes. Well, the man doesn't know Very how to give up. people have actually pinned Titus to the mat. One, two, three. I think the count is only six and seven. There you go. And Very nice. Impressive numbers. And I'm one of them, by the way. Is that right? I am. I don't All recall. Myself, Daddy. And Julian Look at Young. Julian Young. This man, he smells blood in the water. He's like a shark. It's unbelievable. He's the world's handsomest shark. No comment. We'll just take that as agreement. <laughs> Lifted him off his feet. Nice midsection shot. Oh, Titus. Titus. The sunset flip. Isn't oh. using the ropes illegal? I'm certain it is. Kick out I from Julian Young. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, and into an arm bar. My goodness. Julian Young is unbelievable. Titus is a monster, an but Julian Young bar. is unbelievable. Yeah. A big man. I'll, I'll tell you. you. This makes me a little bit happy. I, I figured it would. I figured I, it I would. I am enjoying this. This is a fire. This is a fine wrestling match, and Julian is showing us what he is all about. I couldn't disagree, even if I tried. So that's all I have to say with that. I'll even a blind pig in front of Nightcorn every now and then. That doesn't work for you. Even a broken clock's right twice a day. Nothing. All right. Why do they let you speak? 
I get paid in to speak. many public forums. I, it's incredible. I get paid to speak. I know. Uh, Sometimes I ask myself the same question. I'm not going to lie. It's mind-bottling to me. Well, you said you have 32 years on Awesome. I'm just trailing behind <laughs> with 28 years myself. It means you're less awesome than I am. That's all I hear. Nice kicker from Julian Young. Oh. And a textbook drop kick. Titus down on the mat again. See, that's something I like to see. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He is showing this audience how great he is. What? Another kick out from Titus. This man He's just does not stay leg. down. He does love, need to hook like the leg. I like Julian. He needs to hook that leg and show Titus. And make sure that leg is hooked. Pulled him down. He's not Do you think it's just leg. overconfidence on Julian's behalf that he's not hooking the leg? No, it's not overconfidence. Someone as good as Julian can't be overconfident. Okay. Like that's like a good he, point. It's like saying I'm <laughs> over great. I could disagree with that. I don't, I don't think nice does. Russian lag sweep from Julian Young. Sorry, what? It's quite all right. I wasn't talking to you anyway. Oh, good. Look at this. The smile on Julian Young's face. He really knows what look he's doing Julian in there. is looking he better than best. I have ever seen him look. He is in fantastic shape. We're starting the year out right, that's for sure. Nice, nice, nice. Get out of the way Julian from Titus no better there. Than that. Went to the well one too many times. I didn't think it was, oh, and back to the arm. <laughs> Titus can't even seem to get enough for hand at all in this match. This is unbelievable. I don't think I've seen anyone really take care of Titus is what, the way that Julian Young is right now. I'll tell you a couple people. But that's not why we're here. We're here to call this match, Shannon. You keep focused. You got my interest, and then you just that's destroyed right. it. That sucks. Julian Young. Back on oh, the oh, a nice European uppercut from Titus. Long. Little roll reversal now. Julian Young on the outside. Might not be holding his shoulder so much, but he Titus definitely felt the concrete. I think the ref needs to be watching go. Titus. I think the big man's going to fly. We've seen this before. Yeah, Titus, as big as he Titus. is. Oh, my God. That is incredible. Every time you see it, I'll tell you, just just unbelievable. Every it time. It my headset off. I saw that for a moment. I was at peace. And... That, to me, that's an instant DQ. Titus pandering. It's going to lose. The admiration of the fans is something I know you don't know too much about. But they it admire is actually, me. I just don't care. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's I, right I, I will disagree again on that one. But, I mean, if that's the way you want to view yourself, you go right ahead. I'm, I'm happy for you but in your dreamland there. All right, listen. You're on, like, the number four radio station. Number one, actually. Thank you. I disagree. <laughs> That's because other people have a little thing they call taste. Oh my god, an incredible suplex from Julian Young. I don't think I've been more impressed, and I normally am impressed, but this is just over the top. Julian Young, man. Whenever I'm you're on the radio, I set my FM transmitter to 94.5 and listen to my iPod. That's really funny. I'm, I, I'm honestly, I can't, I can't help myself. That was really funny. It's truth, though. It's not meant to be funny. Either way, we put a smile on my face, and I thank you. Both men down. The count has begun. We're at six now. Starting to stir a little bit. Knowing Titus the way I do, Julian, a very rare miss. Oh, and a big chop. Oh! oh. I'll tell I you. I don't even know what to say about this. This is just... Uh, they're busting some capillaries like crazy up I there. I would say oh. so. My goodness, a big forearm from Titus and another chop. Reversal from Julian Young. Goes for the clothesline to dodge. And a big Titus flying elbow fit. from Come Titus. On. And another this followed rap, up by a clothesline. Does, like, does he even have a job? Oh, and a thumb to the eye or a finger to the eye. Anything. I couldn't see it from this angle. Of course you didn't see anything, Cole. That's right out of your textbook right there. And no, I haven't seen your textbook either. You and another that. big kick from Titus. Day, Daddy. Oh, oh, and a near three. He had, and he had a fistful of tights, and he still couldn't hold them down. I didn't see the fistful of tights on you that wouldn't. one. Of course not. You see what you want to see. Knowing Titus the way I do, this is still anybody's match. He has definitely been punished so far this evening. But this man is very, very resilient. Very, very tough. Again, it's... Julian Young pulls him down. Kick to the guts. Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, I don't think I I've don't ever seen that, that move from Titus. That was unbelievable. 
The only thing I could call that was a face buster, but it was nothing. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I don't before. know what, I, I honestly have nothing to say. Oh, and a near, near. They have si they silenced the greatest speaker in wrestling history. I have nothing to say. I'm still going. I don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> exactly. That was on. I thought. I thought that was a three for sure. Titus, that was unbelievable. Oh, Titus going for the Deuce Driver now. The deuce Driver. Julian Young. Julian showing oh, his amazing reversal. ability. Oh, Julian showed right again. there why he was. He's the number one wrestler in the marathon. Nice kick to the guts. Oh, another big chop from Titus. I wouldn't want to be anywhere in that vicinity. Oh, and he eats the turnbuckle. Julian oh. Young with a miss. Misses the big boot. Super kick from Julian Young. That's a real big boot right there. I'll tell you, he On delivers that target. out of nowhere. It is unbelievable. Right in the face. And another two count for Julian Young. He just can just not keep this big man down, Titus. Uh, I don't understand. What Almost what seems unbeatable, and he's taking a lot of punishment, like I said earlier. I don't understand this ref. Like, where's the other guy? The other ref would have counted three. It's hard to say. I don't like this one. And a cross face from Julian Young. This could be the end for sure. Very, very deadly. Very, very painful. Look at the marks. I don't think the camera angle you can see it, but there are welts and bruises on the back of Julian Young right now. <laughs> this match has been very, very high impact. I also see, I, I think I'm seeing, there's a big, he has a bit of a tear on the back there, too. Reversal from Titus, uh, and Julian Young brings they him have right been back in. It in this Unbelievable. Match. Even I can't deny that Titus has been bringing it in this match. Titus gets the ropes. Julian Rung not letting go. Got to be careful. He could get DQ'd. He did. He quit. He got the ropes. He did not he did quit. Not it was plain as day. Out. You could see that. He tapped out before he even got close to the ropes. I, I heard him. He's like, I quit. Um. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression. I will give you that. But you're dead wrong. Julian Young now to the outside. Titus with another maneuver. Julian Rung is Young is reading Titus like a book. It's unbelievable. The big fist from Titus. Very nice. Big man's going up. This could be a super place. One of many things. Titus Arsenal. Oh, we're going to see it. This could oh, be the Spanish going flea. For that Spanish fly. Did you call it the Spanish flea? I did call it the Spanish flea. My you're, bad. You're a little dumb, aren't you? Well, if by dumb you mean incredibly good looking, I couldn't argue. From the top oh, rope. No. Oh my goodness gracious, did you see the height I don't know. on that? Even I couldn't get up from that. I that don't know what he's going to do. That was just ridiculous. And I'm fantastic. One of these days, Cole, you and I might have to have an awesome now. Why? That just sounds like I'd be fighting an unarmed man. The big oh. elbow from Titus. He flew all the way across the ring on that one. It's a fantastic elbow. It's foot on, on the ropes. Rope. Very nice from the referee. The good, good bring awareness there. Good eye for a change from this referee. I think the referee's been doing a pretty good job, you my would friend. Think that. Titus saying it's over for Julian Young. Everybody's half naked now. Again, Julian Young with another reversal into the turnbuckle. Reverse Hera Garana. Oh it's my it's goodness. Over. That was it's over. just Inverted her incredible. I, I have to agree. I don't know if Titus is going to get up from that one. Julian well, Young. Of course he's not. He's dead. I hope not. That's a very sour thing to wish upon somebody. I didn't wish it. Look at him. Oh, oh, come come on. On. Again. oh you see, it's okay for Julian Young, but it's the not okay for Titus. Put his foot on there. I'm sure. The other cameraman. I'm sure. Right there. Lightning fast to that cameraman. Well, only when it comes to cheating for Titus. <laughs> These two men never deport, de disappoint. That's for sure. Well, Julian doesn't. Titus disappoints me on a daily basis, Daddy. Kind of like you. 
That's fair. And mean, but I'll, I guess I'll just take it on the chin. Right you will. <laughs> take it in the eye if I tell you to. That's gross. Wasn't meant to be. Where'd your money go? I don't know what Julian Young's doing I, here, uh, but I'm sure I it's going to be impressive. The audience can't see this. I just saw someone walking with a headset on. Are they on commentary too? Take note, Mr. Swab. If you Look at Julian's back. Wrestling, this is what <laughs> Look at Julian's back. Julian, all the respect in the world to him. He's spending way too much time talking to a guy who's not out here right now. Oh my goodness gracious. He spent too much time talking to Mr. Swab. Do not worry about him. That's right, especially Guys, when you get a guy like Titus in the ring. It's, Suave is no challenge. He's been out of this business for two years. It's no challenge to him. Spanish fly! The incredible! If anyone can kick out of the Spanish fly, it's Julian Young. Oh, and a big three Titus count! Cap. Titus, you're winner! I don't like it. I don't like it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your winner! Now going Titus! Did you just interrupt me to announce? I was talking. I do what I do. Where was your iPhone on that one? Go ahead, boys, get in the ring. I think the three of you know full well you have no chance of beating me. As a matter of fact, I don't think you want to be here any more than I want to be here in the same room as these filthy, retarded hillbillies. So I'm going to give you an option. Actually, you have two options. The first option is walk out of the ring right now. It's a loss either way. Here's the second option. You stay and fight, and when I'm done with you, I'm going to kick the crap out of every single one of these chromosome-deficient hillbillies. Admit it, but I am terrified of Brody Steele. The three men in the ring Chris Duff, Chris Cole, the rock star, and Brian McKay, formerly known as Spider Man. I haven't seen Brian McKay in a little while, or Chris Duff. Glad to see. Oh my good God, this match is underway and it's going to be a mess. Chris Duff with a sleeper hold, it looks like, on my angle. I can't really see it. Been clubbing, clubbing Brody Steele. It doesn't really seem to be here. Oh my God, lightning fast out of the turnbuckle. Crushes Chris Tuff, sets the other two down to the mat. Out goes Brian McKay, sweet Jeebus. That was terrifying. Over the top rope for Rockstar Chris Cole. Chris Tuff up top, might actually get an upper hand. I highly doubt this though. Oh, and he just doesn't even phase him. Up into a gorilla press. Over the top rope, my God, that was horrifying. He came right at me. Look at Brody Steele, man. That is one big, big man, and I have nightmares that he's gonna beat everyone up. He said he would, he said he would, and uh, I don't really know if he will or not, but I'm getting out of here if I start seeing people's heads explode. Brian McKay back in the ring. Rockstar Chris Cole back in the ring. Looks like Chris Tuff's pretty hurt. Into the corner with authority goes Brian McKay. I am so happy that I am not in this ring. Rockstar crushes Brian McKay. Oh, and Brody Steele just squashes them both. I, you might not be able to tell on, on, on the television screen or your computer monitor, but this man. Oh, he misses a senton. Oh, Chris Cole got lucky. I might not, might not like him, but I'm not a big fan of him. But I don't. I, I'd hate to see him get destroyed. Brian McKay going for a pin. Two count from Brody Steele. Chris Tuff kind of scooching off to the side. It looks like he might be injured. Chris Cole, Brian McKay, double one-handed bulldog there. Looks like they're building a little confidence. Looking for the crowd to get behind him. There's the adulation they want. 
It's weird to see Brian McKay and Chris Cole working together. Oh, and a giant elbow from the big man, Brody Steele. Chris Cole, Brody Steele in there together. Another big boot. Oh, and a flying clothesline from Brody Steele. Brian McKay with a steel chair. Oh, and he hits him right in the back. You know, it didn't even put him down. And the average guy would at least collapse from the force of that chair shot. One, two, feeding him fist in the corner, looking for the 10 count. Chris Tuff leaving, leaving the arena. Oh, last ride, power bomb from Brody Steele. Two hands on each chest, and that's it, it's over. Brody Steele, your victor. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Brody Steele. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the IHWI Championship. Introducing first, the man to my left, Hailing from DF New Brunswick and weighing in at 300 pounds, accompanied to the ring by Vixen. <laughs> Grow Terrible. And the opponent, accompanied to the ring by Kevin Tyler. He is your current IHWI champion, hailing from Thunder Bay, Ontario, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ryan Storm! Kano finally decided to come and join me. My uh, very important job as ring announcer. You, you really, you, you smell bad. I really wish you would shower. That's your breath blowing back in your face. That's, that's all you had, really. That's all I got. I hate your face. The crowd here rallying behind Grow Papa Slash for good reason. <laughs> Stupidity. IHW's super mega stars. Super mega star. Really? That's right. You just forgot what they were called. That's not true at all. Actually, he is a super mega star. Grow Papa Slash putting Ryan Storm in the corner. Ref breaking it up. Kevin Tyler cheering his man on Ryan Storm. I like it when, when Kevin Tyler and Vixen are out here together. They seem to uh, counteract each other. I don't know. I, I, I like it when Kevin Tyler's out here. When Vixen's out here, like all I can think of is, you know, good from far, but far from good. Of course you are. Are you even listening to me? Nope. No. <laughs> oh, big chop by Grow Papa Slash. Bringing Ryan Storm to his knees in the corner. Oh, another big chop. That was a closed fist. Into the corner goes Ryan Storm. Into another big chop. And I'm pretty the sure that one just popped my ear. The, the referee needs to do something about this. And do something about what exactly? And he needs to Into put a mask on because he looks ugly. Oh, and a big slash. <laughs> splash, splash. By Grow Papa Slash. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, I'm not. Kevin Tyler slaps him in the back of the head. He should be careful. That could be a disqualification. Oh, come on. You Vixen think the ref's going to start doing his job now? Out, just like I said. She should be expelled from ringside for putting her hands on Kevin Tyler. He's not involved in the match. Well, technically, I guess he is, but he's not part of it. Outside he goes on to Kevin Tyler. Grow Papa Slash looking real good tonight. I disagree. I don't think Grow Papa Slash ever looks real good. Diabolical. Diabolical, really? 
Don't I know I know some words. Don't use words that you don't know how to spell. That's fair. Oh, what a big... Nope. Look at this. Rope off the slash. Better than Ryan Storm at every turn this evening. It's because he's lucky. Oh, my good God. That was Come basic. On, ref. The ref needs to get them back in the ring and get that bald idiot. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And pinning. The ref is doing Getting. his job. He's counting. Back in the ring for Ryan Storm. Girl Papa Slash volume. Kevin Tyler, I absolutely despise this bald-headed guy. And I'm bald-headed. He's giving bald people a bad name is what he's Slash, doing. I agree. He gives bald-headed fat people a bad name. Look at him. He's and all facial over the hair. place. What a weasel. What's that? I called Kevin Tyler a weasel. Why would you call Kevin Tyler a weasel? Kevin Tyler and Vixen now having an exchange in the, on the outside of the ring. Look. Look Ryan Storm. In goes the title belt. That idiot Vixen needs to get her, herself away from the ring. But what is she doing in there? What is she doing in the ring? She's, hel she's helping Papa Slash is what she's doing. The referee needs to turn around. <laughs> Another brilliant move. I will say very clever, but still, come on. If you can't win on your own merit, then why are you even in IHW? It's a brilliant move. There's more to winning than just brute strength, Chano. You guy. have to use your cunning and intelligence. I know you don't understand this because you're an idiot. Right, right. Coming from the guy in the stupid glasses. I don't have any glasses on. Look at this, Vixen being told to go backstage. Banned from ringside. Showing again how the IHW fans are class acts all the way. And a sneak attack from Ryan Storm. Surprise, surprise. Kevin Tyler has just brainwashed this guy so much. It's ridiculous. Look at him cheering him on. Slash should be watching Ryan Storm and no one else in that ring. It's his own fault. It's not a sneak course, attack. That bell has rung. It's their fault when it's, it works out for them, right? It's always... The it's bell always. has rung. He should be watching Ryan Storm. Right, right. Look at Kevin Tyler covering ears. I don't want to slap him in the mouth. One, two, Ryan Storm showing he's got to the count of five. That was a close call. These guys need to be careful. Now Kevin Tyler arguing with a fan at ringside. He's a class act, this fan. guy. Like this audience, it's, it's ridiculous. They're greasier than a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as greasy as Ryan Storm and Kevin Tyler. Ryan Storm all over choking. Grow Papa Slash this evening. It's not it's choking, it's a nerve hold. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Ryan Storm does not cheat. Oh, and a neck breaker from Ryan Storm. You know what, it's not looking good for Grow Papa Slash at this particular point in time. Kick out though, you never know. You it can't, you can't count the big know. man out. Why does Slash even want the I title? I don't understand this. It's not a pizza. He can't eat it. I can't believe you. What? Just because you don't want to step on the toes of the Tyler Zone doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't want to compete Jeez. and be the best they can be. What do you mean step on the toes of the Tyler Zone? The Tyler I guess zone. I could say step on the tail because there are a bunch of snakes. Nice leg drop from the middle rope from Ryan Storm on Grove off of Slash. Kevin Tyler is the second most brilliant mind in ISW right now. First being me. Wow, that doesn't say a lot for Kevin Tyler. Well, I'm sure most people would understand they've met you, Daddy. Right clubbing blow by Ryan Storm to GPS. GPS, one, not one to quit. Fighting back now with, right, with uh, rights of his own. I have to say, Ryan oh. Storm's looking good. Oh. Looking like he's in shape. He was getting ready for oh, this match, and a big kick it's gonna to be the a cakewalk, face. as he's shown. Followed up by a Russian, Russian leg sweep. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Was it beautiful? Yeah, it was beautiful. You're just going to repeat what I say and put Sorry, adjectives in front of them? Did you say it was beautiful? Going for the pin. And they kick out again from the big man, GPS. I just have to say, Kevin Tyler is looking very dapper tonight. He looks good. I will say he dresses well. 
can't argue that. I can't argue that. He's Kevin Tyler. You know what I hate about him, though? That he's smarter than you. Everything aside than you. from his wardrobe. So you do hate that he's smarter than you. I guess I would kind of classify as everything, sure. I don't know if it's smarter. I would say, uh, to dust off one from earlier before, a little more diabolical than me. Going back to the well early, Shano. That's right. A little more sinister, if you will. Speaking of the well, Ryan Storm. Oh, and a oh, clothesline Ryan. from GPS. Followed up by a nice elbow. GPS throwing fists at Ryan Storm again. Scoop Close slam. slam. It's like closed fist scoop slam. Oh, and a senton that from the big that man. That can't be legal. Grabs a leg. Oh, and only a two for GPS. I can see uh, GPS slowing down. Just missed a three by the hair. That's funny. You miss things by a hair all the time. Or because I don't have any. You miss your hair. Back into the corner for Ryan Storm. Did I oh, too nobody far home on that exchange. I go a little too far oh, that time. Oh, I took it back. Did I go a little too far that time? Not at all. I'm a proud ball man. It's called chic. Really? I just call it ball. Backstabber from Ryan Storm. The fans rallying behind Gro Papa Slash. Ryan Storm unsheathes the knee, if you will, does not pay off in the long run. Your rhymes are terrible. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, and a DDT. A future shock DDT. Nice GPS with his foot on the ropes. He knows where he is. Another sly, sneaky way out. He I put call his it foot on the ropes. I call it intelligence. See, he put the zag on the ropes without the help of someone else. Because he can't kick out on his own. It's called saving energy. Because it's a very lost smart this move. Match. He has lost this match, you know. Lost. I hope you have a terrible birthday. I am having a terrible birthday. I'm sitting next to you. Spinning clothesline missed. Oh my good God! Into a full Nelson bomb. He bruised his coccyx, you know. GPS it's calling for it. Oh, and another miss. Nobody home. Ryan Storm with the roll up. Perfect. It's over. It's over. Foot on the ropes, ref. Foot on the ropes. Nice. Very nice. Referee ref knowing doing? exactly what he's doing. What's the ref doing? It's called his job, sir. That's terrible. His job is to count that three count when Ryan Storm pins. Yeah, as long as mat. it is a clean pin, that I agree. Clean. It's funny because in my Storm books, it's called a dirty not. pin. How is that dirty? Oh, and a spear oh, and a mid-air! Fell right off the announce table. It's over! GPS, the new IHWI champion! This is terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new IHWI champion, Gro Papa! Well, let me tell you something, Scotty from Stinktown better keep a close eye on Tyson Dukes because Tyson Dukes is not one that's afraid to cheat. He is a consummate professional. We know this already. Here we go, and the match starts. Tyson Dukes rallying the fans behind him here. Much to the dismay of Cowboy Mike Hughes. He does not like that. He wants quiet for his matches, it seems. Somebody with the talent and expertise of Mike Hughes should have quiet for his matches. He should have the people in their seats watching politely as he destroys his opponent. Well, it seems Tyson Duke's getting a little enjoyment out of this.
And they lock up. Power struggle. Mike Hughes showing his power to Tyson Dukes into the fans. He is a physical specimen, this Mike Hughes. He's been all over the world. Tyson Dukes may have been all over the world, but Mike Hughes has also been all over the world. Both world-renowned veterans here. Tyson Dukes has no right to be making fun of the physical condition of Cowboy Mike Hughes. He's just showing his six-pack. Mike Hughes, I think, is just playing a psychological game here with... And another big lockup. Mike Hughes showing his power, pushing him towards the corner. Do we get a clean break here? Ref counting down. And Mike Hughes back again with the lockup. And a big knee by Mike Hughes in an elbow, putting Dyson Dukes down. And a big arm drag by Tyson Dukes, and he holds on to the arm with an arm bar. All right, he'd have an arm bar here by Tyson Dukes. Arm ringer. That's, That's I apologize. Arm bar, all right. I'm glad I have Chris Cole here to tell me the technical terms of wrestling here. Yeah. Big body slam and an elbow drop. I wish I had someone who wasn't stupid. And back with an arm ringer by Tyson Dukes. Oh, torquing the arm. He seems to be focusing his attack, and knees to the arm. Seems to be focusing attack on the arm of Cowboy Mike Hughes here. Another arm ringer. I'm pretty sure. There it is again. I, I saw, I think, I, I know I saw for sure a handful of hair nope, from We got Tyson a face Dukes. palm by Cowboy Mike Hughes, pushing him to the corner. Do we get a clean break here? Big shoulder block. Chop. And another big head by by Cowboy Mike Hughes, slowly decimating Tyson Dukes. Tyson Dukes sitting in that corner. Like a little red. Guy. And it seemed like he had a little bit of fight left in him, but he just cut him off at the pass. Mike Hughes with the eye rake. That was not an eye rake. Mike Hughes would not cheat. And an Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Runs in, and he completely misses. Tyson Dukes gets out of the way, right back on the arm. Great strategy by Tyson Dukes, focusing on the arm. Tyson Dukes, again, I, 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 I know I saw it. He had him by the tights. That's how he got him down. There's no way... Someone uh, like Tyson Dukes could take down Mike Hughes. You need to get your vision checked. He, and he keeps going with the arm bar here. Almost had a submission. Mike Hughes makes it to the ropes and goes to the outside to recover. Get some blood flow back on the arm. Mike Hughes. Just having a little breather. Call for a timeout. Scotty from Stinktown will understand. Well, he's going to... Tyson Dukes just, and it seems like Cowboy Mike Hughes gets into the ring, cuts off the count, and re ha ref has to restart it. Brilliant strategy by Mike Hughes. That is a very good strategy. Great way to kill time and get some blood flow back in that arm so he can recover, and we're back to the match. Big boot by Mike Hughes. There you go. Again with the headbutt. Oh, and he's fighting back. Tyson Dukes fighting back. And he's cut off with a big knee. Mike Hughes just lulls him in to a false sense of security and destroys him, much like all of the big men do in IHW. He is a very great strategist here. And he puts him down with a shoulder block. Tyson Dukes had no chance being run over by Mike Hughes, the much larger man. That's right. Mike Hughes coming in, Tyson Deuce cuts him off. We have a crisscross happening here. And he ducks. And he... Drop toe hold. Drop toe hold, thank you very much. Hits him in the... An Irish whip. Oh, and a big chop! Oh, he jacked the big man. There was some sweat that flew off the chest there. Oh my god, that was a big hit. Leapfrog's over and another big chop. 
big elbow. And Mike Hughes just throws him down, showing he's the bigger man. Big clothesline misses. Oh! What kind of move was that? He just hit the eardrums. Went right the eye. Oh, and right to the knee. The knee of the big man. Again! Seems to be changing his focus from the arm to the knee. Sound strategy to do on a big man. Cut him cut his feet off. Oh, big cut to the big kick to the knee. Ready for a big haymaker here. Where's the where's Scotty from Stinktown? Those are closed fists. That is not a legal maneuver in innovative hybrid wrestling. Well, he needs to watch those closed fists. Oh, and again to the knee. Tyson Dukes. Great strategy here. Probably setting up for a figure four later on. Why is it called a closed fist and an open hand? That really kind of bothers me. Can you call it handed fist? I really don't know, sir. Again, with the knee. Tyson Dukes looking for the fans' adulation here. Seems to be wasting time. Should be going on that knee of the big man or he'll take advantage. Tyson Dukes taking his time with the big man, setting him up in the corner. Not a smart move, you don't take your time with a man who recovers as quickly as Cowboy Mike. And again, the knee on the ropes. The ref looks, like, looks like Mike Hughes is bleeding from the nose a bit, the eye. Looks like he might have some blood coming out of his ocular cavity. <laughs> might have been from one of them big elbows from Tyson Dukes, the referee being smart and putting on gloves just in case. Oh, and going again for the knee. I, I don't think I'd ever accuse Scotty from Stinktown of being smart. That's your opinion. Again with the hit. Mike Hughes trying to get Tyson Dukes away from the knee. The big headlock. And again, just dropping elbows on that knee. Oh, and a... Tyson Dukes, Cowboy... Kaiwan Mike Hughes in a lot of pain. He's feeling it in the knee right now. Let me tell you something, Daddy. If he thinks he's going to put away the IHW heavyweight champion, Cowboy Mike Hughes. And he breaks him in the face with his boot. Doesn't seem to have faced Tyson Dukes all that much. I think he looks frustrated, and that's a place where Cowboy going Mike right Hughes back. Oh, and a big knee. And Tyson Dukes to the outside. Cabo Mike Hughes got some time to recover now from his, get some blood flow back in that knee. I tell ya, I got good groupies here at IHW. One of them has brought us something to drink. Tyson Dukes onto the outside. Mike Hughes recovering. Coming in with a big baseball slide and a drop kick to the face of Tyson Dukes. Sends him reeling out to the fans. Tyson Dukes has a seat with the fans. And a big forearm. Right in the middle of some of these idiot fans that IHW has. Look at them. Big backbreaker on Tyson Dukes on the outside. I would like to introduce the toothbrush to some of these people. Also deodorant. That is just not nice. Cowboy Mike Hughes. The truth is seldom nice. Mr. Russell. That's your opinion. And again with the back smash into the ring apron. Tyson Dukes is gonna have a long trip back to wherever he's going to get the Oh, and right into the post. Oh, he's gonna be feeling that for the next couple days. Mike Hughes still taking his time trying to recover from all that damage to the knee. He's still limping a little bit. Goes in and he cuts off the ref's count once again. Does not want it, this to end in a double count out. You would think as a champion he would just go into the ring and let Tyson Deuce get counted out. Mike Hughes is not the type of man that would let his opponent get counted out. He wants to take him in there, hit him with a Hughesy driver, decimate him, and pin him. One, two, three to that man. He uh, wants to get into the post, his back. Oh my God. Also wants to hurt him. Sound strategy by Cowboy Mike Hughes. Again, cuts off the count. Referee must be getting frustrated here. 
wants the action back in the ring. Let me tell you something, Mike Hughes. He also knows on the off chance that Tyson Deuce gets lucky and somehow gets a victory over Mike Hughes. If Mike Hughes hurts him, Dukes will either not be able to come to September to surrender or will be we too have hurt to be any kind of challenge. And a two count for Mike Hughes on Tyson Deuce. Showing, the, sho showing his frustration. And again, September 23rd, the seventh anniversary of September to Surrender, IHW's biggest show of the year. At 7 p.m., Coverdale Rec Center in Riverview, New Brunswick. Kyle and Mike Hughes plotting, and another big kick to Tyson Dukes. Going for a choke, an illegal choke. Refs counting, and a pin. Just a quick one count, there's no way he's beating Tyson Dukes just like that, he has to do more to beat him. Uh, you'd be surprised, Mike Hughes can do very little and destroy an opponent because he's such a monster. Fans rallying behind Tyson Dukes here. And a jawbreaker on Cowboy Mike Hughes. He may have a chance to come back. Oh, catches the feet. Inzaguri. And on fire. Back suplex. He is on fire. He is getting the crowd rallies behind him. He is fired up. Where is Tyson Dukes getting this energy from and that power to get him over in a suplex? He has momentum. He is getting the... Stands behind him, he's looking like he's gonna set him up for a big move here. He runs to the corner of Mike Hughes and he's cut off with the boot. <laughs> so Mike Hughes could not build on that momentum here. I have to say, I'm actually pretty impressed with Tyson Dukes right now. I didn't think he'd stand a chance against the likes of Cowboy Mike Hughes. But he is he is holding his own. He's still going to lose, but he is holding his own against Cowboy Mike Hughes. Well, Tyson Dukes is a great athlete. Here we go. Looks like he's setting him up for a superplex here. Will it happen? Could this be enough to give him a victory over Mike Hughes? If he can just get it to happen, he just seems he has... A lot of difficulty, Mike Hughes still has some aware about whereabouts of where he is right now. Oh dear Lord, they're on the top. Can this hold, oh my God, a big superplex by Tyson Dukes. Tyson Dukes look, cannot take advantage. He hurt himself in the process of making that move. A big risk in a cover. Looks like one, two, Three. Oh my God! He almost had him there. More than that. I thought he had him there. He is the IHW heavyweight champion for a reason. Tyson Mike Russell. Tyson Dukes thought he had enough there where to get the the match at September to surrender. Coming back with a few punches. An Irish whip. Cowboy reverses it. Well, we'll what are we gonna see here? Oh my. God, what a move. I don't even know what to call that, Daddy. One, two, can he have him? No, he kicks out. Man, these, Mike. I'll tell you something, Scotty from Stinktown is getting a heck of a workout right about now. He's probably pretty blown up at this point. Tyson Dukes rallying the fans here. Both men, oh, he is up. Tyson Dukes is up. Firing himself up, what's going on? Oh, Cowboy Mike Hughes with the elbow, and a return elbow. And it's just, they're going back and forth with elbows here. Just not giving up. Mike Hughes relentless in his attack. Oh, and a big chop. And he goes right back to the knee. What will we see here? Oh, it's a... I have no idea what to call this. It looks like a knee wrench. I, Could, I can tell you it looks painful it's, it's is what a, it looks like. It looks like a knee lock. 
but Mike Hughes is not the type of person that gives up. He looks like he could be slowly fading away or going, he looks like he wants to tap. He's slowly, oh, he has the motion to tap. Will he tap? Will we have a title match at September to surrender? Will Tyson Dukes get a shot? He's no. slowly getting there. He's slowly getting to the ropes. Will he make it? He looks like he wants to tap. He is in a world of pain and he makes it to the ropes. Tyson Dukes cannot believe it. He will not let go. He thought he had him here. He thought he had him there. Yeah, well, he didn't. Mike Hughes in a lot of pain. Tyson Dukes trying to think what he can do now. Attacks him in the corner. Irish whip. Reversal by Mike Hughes. Another reversal into the... Oh, he almost had the ref. And he hits into the ref. We need a new ref. Scotty from Stingtown is dead. We have a Death Valley driver by Tyson Dukes. We have a three. One, two, three. We need a ref here. Tyson Dukes cheated out of a match here. But the it's ref his down. own fault. Unfortunate circumstances. Tyson Dukes needs to revive the referee or they need to bring out another one. Tyson, Cowboy Mike Hughes going to the outside for something here. Cowboy Although Mike Hughes, he's, just, going, he's just having a breather. He's yeah. going for his title, probably, possibly to be used as a weapon here. He's just looking at it. Tyson Dukes not aware of what's going on here. Oh, and he hits him with the belt! That was his hand. Oh my god, no. What's gonna happen here, he's covering him. Another How is Scotty from Singtown not up yet? He did get run over by a big man in Mike Hughes. Chris Cook coming in the ring, what's happening here? Once again, Chris Cook out in a place where he does not belong. There it is! Oh my god, he hits him! Chris Cook has no place in this match. Again, he did the same thing with Eric Doucette and Riddick Stone. He had no place in this match. Well, Tyson Dukes take advantage of this. Both men getting up. Is the referee getting up with them? Do we, do we, ha we have a referee now. Big roll up, schoolboy roll up. One, two, three. We have a Tyson Dukes wins. Tyson Dukes wins. is going to be epic, my good sir. It's not going to be epic. Julian Young is just going to pummel Eric Doucette again, Wouldn't beat him again for like the 19th time in a row. Wouldn't that be epic? Both these men in top physical condition. It's really anybody's game despite what you say, Rockstar. I will say that these are probably my two favorite IHW megastars, hands down. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder. Rockstar Chris Cole running Ted Fest for Ehlers Danlos Syndrome awareness on October 15th from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's going to be a great nice time. We have tons of live Young music showing off his off. amateur experience. I'm sorry. I'm promoting like a charity. A good cause. Thing. I apologize. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. It's a $10 minimum donation. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great night. I, I bet Shano's going to be there. It's not like he has a real job. 
We're going to have a great I night. I apologize for cutting you off, That's and okay. yes, that is a good cause. Uh, and I will be there. And all proceeds go to the Canadian Cancer Society. That's right. That's why I'll be there. Not because of you. We have tons of awesome bands. We have uh, Paul LeBlanc playing. Sinner's Grin, of course, will be there with our awesome front man. Nice. But Eric Deuce had a lose count because he's from Hamilton. Oh, Julian Young eating those chops. I'm amazed I didn't skip any numbers. Oh, nine sends him to the outside. Look at that, Eric Doucette can count to nine. Good for him. Eric Doucette, formerly Mr. Swab, looking damn good in that ring right now. Mr. Set. Back into the ring. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a muscle relaxant and beer. Okay, I'm lying to you a little. Scoop slam, working that arm, Eric Doucette. Good. Beautiful job. hammerlock body slam. Julian Young, yeah, you're an idiot. Julian Young knows exactly what he's doing. He is working on that arm, he is decimating Eric Doucette. Back to the arm, Julian Young. Oh my goodness, a close three. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty obvious. Snap suplex by Julian Young. Only two, Julian Young getting a little frustrated with the referee. Referee Chris Charter should be counting faster. We had the same problem in the Canadian Idol match. That was a three count in go. that match and it's ridiculous. Julian Young taking advantage of that five second count. Yeah. As every, every good tactician should, take advantage of the five second count. Oh, and a big kick to the chest. Okay, the ref should be calling Eric Doucette on this. This is ridiculous. Oh, another one. Ridiculous. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> nice! Oh, that was Lord. a beautiful maneuver from Eric Doucette. That, no, Only a two though. Eric Doucette is not smart enough to pin anybody. 
I don't I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with it. He and I happen to know Eric Doucette, and he's a very intelligent man. <laughs> you don't know him that well. Oh my god, what a very nice reversal from Julian Young. Oh, beautiful Northern Lights. Nice Russian leg sweep. Side Russian leg sweep. Body drop from Eric Doucette to Julian Young. Eric Doucette with him in the corner again. The ref should be taking care of this. Oh, what is this? Oh, and I'm actually going to go to the rock star. Get him by the one. hair. What was that called? I don't know. Only a two on that incredible maneuver from Eric Doucette. Kick to the midsection. Oh, we're going to do a Gory. A Gory Guerrero special right now. Gory Guerrero special. Yeah, that's right. I know what that one's I called. I know what it's called. You shut up. And. Oh, oh my goodness. Very modified. That was beautiful. Well, I'm going to call that a knee to the face. Julian Young, uh, very intelligent again. This comes from the experience that he has. Really? He it is looks coming. Like Julian's running. I today. am speaking. Mm, I know, I'm just doing the fans a favor. Back in the ring. I can't believe that was only a two count. Oh, and a low blow by Julian Young. Technically kicking the rope so it doesn't count, but whatever. Julian Young is an expert. An expert, Shano. There's no argument for me. See, he just, he told you what Beautiful. he was going to do, and then he did it. Beautiful. Five-point buster right now. It is over. This match is done. This is the worst referee Uh, in that situation where Julian Young will yell out his maneuver and then ultimately accomplish it, isn't there a little worry that your opponent might know a counter to said maneuver? Well, you see, normally yes. However, Julian also knows that Eric Doucette's a moron. I'm asking the wrong person. Eric Doucette put on the top rope now. Eating some chops. Uh, no, actually those are to his chest. If he's eating them, they be to his mouth, which they should be. Going for it from the top. Eric Doucette fighting back. Very nice counter from Julian Young. That arm strength was unbelievable. Julian Young's a monster. Don't get his small stature oh. confused. He is a monster in that ring. Oh, and a super kick. I felt that over here. Oh, only a two count. I can't believe that Eric Doucette only got it. That, that is unbelievable. 
Why is that kid wearing that shirt? Look at him. Oh, there's two of them. There's three of them. Yes, fans wearing the Chris Cole suck shirt. I have to agree. I hate this game. We've seen this before. Oh. Eric just said power's open Julian now. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Very nice exchange. That was incredible. Right back at it. Oh, that was so close. Oh, my goodness. Nice high angle Boston Crab right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Rolling around the ring. What's this? Julian Young. Julian Young with her inverted headbutts. Oh my god. Good god. Back again. This exchange of pins is blowing my mind right now. Ooh, that looked like it was below the equator. Oh, oh. very nice. Oh, Pearl River Punch. I don't know how either of these men are still going. the cross face from Julian Young. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever women's match in innovative hybrid wrestling history. I am actually excited to see this match. First ever in IHW history. It has been an epic night so far. Takes her to the mat, very nice. I'm enjoying this. I think she should kick her again. Really working that arm, now pulling the hair, get on oh. there, ref. 
Very nice reversal from Desiree. <laughs> Would that be called a <laughs> slap? to the face. Oh, and a forearm smash from Angie Sky. Into the corner. Oh, and a nice high knee. Looks like it caught her right under the jaw. God, these ladies. I'm just impressed overall. Looking for from some fan support. There we go. She's getting what she's asking for. And just guy getting pulled up from the mat right now. Four under the back. Another one. Not that quick. Oh, a knee to the abdomen. Oh, and she eats a turnbuckle. Oh yeah, here it comes, Daddy. That was beautiful. Oh, and a kick to the uh, posterior. I have the best groupies ever. You absolutely do. <laughs> Tied up in the ropes. Then they got her tied up in the rope. Very nice, very unique choke. I'm totally legal. The ref's counting for no reason. I, I, I don't think it's legal. She's already in the ropes. No, no, but she did that herself. <laughs> take advantage of stupid refs. Rule number one in professional wrestling, take advantage of stupid refs. Only a two for Angie Sky. I like her hair. Yeah. 
pulling the hair, bending the rules left and right here, this Angie Sky. She's got a full five count. I don't know why she's not utilizing it. Very nice. Oh, and elbows left, right, left, right. And a Northern Light suplex, very well done. Not as nice as Julian Young's, but that was actually really nice. I'm gonna give her props. Very nice fisherman suplex as well. Unpretty or no? Oh my goodness. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Dick Durden guy, he's not backing down from Reddick Stone. He looks but pretty that dazzling. Be, that could be his first mistake and probably his last, Daddy. Riddick Stone's a monster, and he always. It will be interesting to see Riddick Stone without the Tyler Zone in his corner. That's for sure. Good move by Dick there, ducking under the clothesline, but. Didn't even seem to phase Riddick Stone. Have you met Riddick Stone? He's a monster, Daddy. Oh, what Dick eats an elbow to the face. He had Dick in the behind. Into the ropes goes Dazzling Dick. Avoids the clothesline. Ooh, a chop to the chest of Riddick Stone. Stone staggering. They're not going to move that big man. Ooh, another couple of chops. Oh. Uh, Dick Durning trying to play the power game. He's an idiot. You cannot Just do like that. Scotty from Sinktown. With the Riddick Stone. Riddick Stone really took his head off with that clothesline. There he goes. Slam and oh, oh, what a big backbreaker. Actually, he's attacking more of the ribs as the uh, back, but uh, Stone Ooh. going over it again. You have to watch Shano. You have to watch Shano Chase. He's slightly stupider than you are, so it's. Oh, look at this. Oh, running power slam by Stone. Dick has the world ball to kick out. A lot of heart by this newcomer, but uh, up against Riddick Stone, even without Kevin Tyler in, in his corner, Riddick Stone is still a monster. I don't think Riddick Stone ever needed Kevin Tyler to begin with. Stone into a cover. Another two for Riddick Stone. Very nice drop kick to the back. Dick is back up. Oh, Trying to go for a roll up there. Another elbow there by Riddick Stone. And look at the 
power. Look at the strength of Frederick Stone. Beautiful military Picked him press. Up like a baby. A giant, tattooed, ugly, spandex wearing baby. Stone into the cover and kick out at two by Dick Deering. Oh, Dick is up again. No, he's not. He's still down. But he had the well for the roll out of that elbow and does it again. Stone's got to change his strategy here. I can't get over. He's fighting back again. Oh, big knee. Unbelievable. <laughs> Going for it again. Nice there by Jake landing on the apron. Spring oh, the nobody home. <laughs> nobody home. Stone just swapped him out. Uh, you laugh like my grandmother. It's Jake over. Stone's got him up, man. Oh, that could be it. Here's the cover, hook of the leg. Thanks for coming out, Dick Dury. Rick Stone picks up the win. Thanks for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Riddick Stone. Rick Stone, an impressive win here. His first win since the, since the Tyler Stone has been disbanded. Checking out both men here. And now who's the guy in the purple that Mike Hughes is wrestling? Is that, is that Link from the Mod Squad? <laughs> I believe his name is Alexander Saint. Oh. Where Mike Hughes comes from, oh, he doesn't oh. wrestle guys like that. He employs them. Al he should have known better than that. Oh, cowboy Mike Hughes just making an, making an example. Of Alexander Saint. Hit him again. Hit him again. Don't let him get up. See a cheap shot. Alexander Saint had somewhat of an opening, but Mike Hughes, too, too much experience in that ring, as you can see right there. It's a cheap just, shot. He should just take his beating and accept it. You know, for someone like Mike Hughes, I think that uh, letting somebody land a few blows is just to give them false hope. That's right. Big time headbutt there by Cowboy Mike Hughes. Yeah! Oh. Felt that over here. You can hear that from here. Jeez. And State sent for the ride. Oh! Oh my! Oh. Oh. They take that on the Cowboy. Drop toe hold. Saint using his speech to his advantage. Wow, that is very impressive. Sending Cowboy to the outside. Ah, oh, Cowboy's got him right where he wants him. He's got him right where he wants him. Get a little bit of confidence now. Wait, where's Saint going? Top rope! Oh! Come on, cowboy. I see more meat on a cheese sandwich than I see on this guy. Tear my purse. Cowboy just. Smashing Alexander State's face into the uh, ringside there. Ooh, needs a headbutt on the outside. Gotta be careful not to be counted out here. For the man, baby! There's gonna be consequences for what happened to Brody last time. That's one thing I will say, the Cardinal sitters. Zero removal. Okay. Oh! Cowboy just went shoulder first into the ring post. We need to learn something, and we learned it very early. Compassion is for the weak. Noted. The cowboy might be cut open in the forehead. He did hit that ring post really, really hard. It's awfully red on one side there. That'll just make him mad if he sees that blood drip. Oh, and a nice headbutt. I don't think the I don't think the bump on the head is uh, is really a, having any effect at this point, though. Not enough for him to notice, anyhow. Oh, and a kick from Saint to the chest. 
Oh, oh that this is the moon song. Saint up and over. Oh, hangs on to the apron. Catches him again right in the forehead. Catch him. Up and oh, oh. nice splash there off the top rope. Got the cover. Only a two count. I don't even think that was two, but I mean, who am I to argue with the referee? I don't know who this little uh, Narissa Saint guy or Alexander Saint guy is, but he's a hell of an athlete. That is very, very true. Oh, oh. big boot by Cowboy. Athleticism Cowboy. Can't, can't recoup from that. No, I don't think anything can recoup from getting your head kicked off. Saint is out of it. <laughs> Pretty to watch, really. Shouldn't even hook the leg. Here's a cover. Hook the leg. Wake up Sunday, and we just saw a field goal. You got that right. Now, boy, you're doing another cover. Saint able to kick out. Now Cowboy with a submission mover here with the uh, knee into the small of the back of uh, Notice Alexander how the Saint. forearms go right into the jugglers on both sides. He's slowly cutting the, cutting the oxygen off to the brain, which probably with this guy won't take much. <laughs> he breaks it off to a smash the knee to the back and apply it again. The fans get it behind Saint here. I don't know how much this is going to help, but we have seen upsets before. So in the caliber, oh, oh my God. Saint reminds God. these people of what they are, nothing. <laughs> of course they're gonna hope for him. He represents them, trailer trash. Yeah. Cover, there's two, and Saint able to kick out before three. That was three, to be honest. It, could, it might have actually been four. I'm just surprised Saints hanging on. Now Cowboy using the ropes to his advantage. Broke a little early, I'm surprised. Usually Mike takes uh, takes full advantage of that five count. Referees are you probably too scared of him to say anything. Oh! Hit the ref too. Oh, nice shit, club to the chest from Cowboy Mike Hughes. No, I think Cowboy's taking a little bit too much time arguing with the fans and not going into the cover, which he does now. That's a slow, the referee took too long getting down there. That's not Mike Hughes' fault. He's an inexperienced rook, rookie ref. Again, only two. See, again, by the time he took her to get around there, I, I, I saw Alexander Saint tap out twice. I must not be seeing it, but I am blocked. My vision is a little... A little I have skewed. a trained eye for these things. No worries. You're just going to have to take my, my word for it. I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. <laughs> Man's trying to get Alexander Saint back in this matchup. They're back up to his feet. Shots the midsection. Ooh. Eats a knee from the Cowboy. Saint sent to the corner. There it is. Oh! Catches a boot to the face. Yeah. Oh! Another boot to the face. And Cowboy down the center of the ring. This is becoming a little reminiscent of the, of the Chris Cole match. I think Mike has taken, taken Nasha Saint too lightly. Oh! oh like a boot up and nobody home. Cowboy too seasoned to get hit by that maneuver. And he very well be, could, could be taking you too lightly, but uh, oh, oh, <laughs> turned him inside out with that clothesline. I think it might have landed on his head. There's a cover, two, and only a two, my goodness. If Saint is stupid enough to take this match, probably land on his head is the best place for him. <laughs> Fans really getting on the case of the Cowboy, chanting Cowboy sucks. Don't listen to them, Cowboys, jealousy. You know, I think he should walk out in the audience and just punch one of them in the mouth. Knock his last tooth out and set the tone. Cover. There's two. And Again, only a two count. There's no quit. And Alexander Saint, the heart of this young man, is uh, 
Incredible. I think Mike has given him a little too much time in between wallops. Yeah, Cowboy got him up and scoop slams him down. He's going to kick him while he's down. I think he should jump right on his face. There we go. Oh, he misses the knee. Again, I think Satan might have heard you. Cowboy trying to shake the damage off to his knee. I mean, he's got a knee pad, but even though you got full force, you're hitting the mat, you're still going to get hurt. Well, when you miss a knee like that, it hurts the hip as much as it does the knee. It just jars everything. I wouldn't know, I've never missed one. Cowboy back up, so is Saint. Drop kick, and Cowboy goes out to the outside. That's twice now he's knocked him out of the ring. Cowboy's not gonna like that. Saint, up and over, oh, oh through the ropes! Suicide dive. Very, very impressive, this Alexander Saint. Gotta get him back in the ring. Well, I have to admit, to the, the next person that gets in the ring with this Saint kid isn't going to take him lightly. Saint up to the top rope. Cowboy up and oh, big time drop kick. Kips up, very nice. Still lots of energy, it seems, for this kid. Uh, he's, he, he, there, here's his rookie mistake right here. Climbing to the top when he already had him down. He's giving him too much time. Just wait. 450. Oh, and he misses. Told you. Eats the mat on that 450 splash. You can't trick a man who's seen every, seen and used every trick in the book. And there we go. There we go. Oh! He made it a neck, neck breaker. That's it. Cover. Hook of the leg. What? Well, are you kidding me? How the hell did he kick out of that? I thought it was over. I saw one of the ladies get up in the crowd. I thought she was going to start singing. The Saint back up to his feet. Another headbutt from Mike Hughes. Off the rope. Oh, he could need to face this. The Cowboy, Saint off the rope. Oh! Spinning power slam. Cover. And a kick out again How is he Saint. kicking out? He landed right on his head. How the hell did he kick out of that? Once again, I'm convinced that was three, if not five. Okay, Cowboy. come on, Cowboy. Setting Saint Put up him up. away. Ducks the clothesline. Saint up and over. Oh, Go going over. for a pick out. There it goes. There's the cover. There's two. Oh, I can't believe oh it. my God. I can't believe what I just seen. Uh, Alexander Saint pulled off a victory. Are you kidding me? That was a two count. That was a two Ladies count. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Alexander Saint. Alexander Saint with the upset.